Yo, welcome back to another classic episode. This one, actually, I'm, let's be honest, out the gate, it's an inconsequential episode of Creepy Old Crypt. Yeah. It's about something nobody cares about. <laughs> one, no one cares about. Two, the few people who do don't like it. No fans. No. Why did no. they, they even build it? Yeah, why did they even build it? Yeah. No one goes on it. No. Empty ride. Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Yep. Now the joke here being, that's probably your favorite ride. This ever. is my this is my favorite ride in the park. Really? Yeah. Number completely. one because it's a perfect mixture of dark ride and thrill ride. Okay. And it's just it's right there in between. I have it's to awesome. agree with that. Yep. In terms of mixing the two. Yep. Because I'm someone that doesn't go on roller coasters yeah, necessarily. But it doesn't get too crazy, so that doesn't... No, it like, just hits the upper level of, yeah. like, thrilling to me, but it's still a dark yeah. ride, exactly yeah. what you said. So I love it. Yeah. Uh, it hits that perfect level for me. But um, but it's your favorite ride yeah. ever. In this park, yes. So here at Disneyland, we're in Adventureland right now. Actually, we're just outside. The temple is just that yeah, way. Yeah, it's just behind all this stuff right here yeah and it's we're actually it's in such a congested area <laughs> this was this is actually the best bet yeah uh this little alcove normally around this area is where they would do fast passes yeah but it's but all done for today they're closed so today nobody's yeah. coming in now. exactly no. but anyway uh so today actually was an episode i was looking forward to because this is one of the best rides yes. here by far love this ride. and love in terms of like newer i mean for for like 20 years this was the only new ride <laughs> like yeah. Like this, this, was was last, this was the last, like, this is the last e-ticket ride they built at Disneyland until it's not even open yet, but Star Wars. Yeah, like, really. Like, I mean, they've it. they've redone stuff. Yeah, but they haven't really added a just major out of ride. No, out of the blue a new ride. Yep. In that long, and this was built in '95. Yeah. So I mean, we're we're going back a ways. But yeah. anyway, twenty something years. Ago. So uh, anyway, so were you here when it opened? Um, I was here probably a month after it opened. Oh, okay. Um, it was still insanely packed. Uh -huh. the, the line went um, uh, all the way out here down close to Main Street. Oh, okay. And, wow, um, that far. And they didn't do the thing they do now where they kind of just let people kind of, like, you basically they stop you at the at the entrance of the of the, yeah. um, of the temple, and then they go, okay, and then let people in just to keep, like, keep an, an keep area the open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid. All the way through that, from, wow. from the beginning of the line, all the way through that. Through every, the temple. Through the temple, solid. Like, wow. there was no gap in between it like they do now. Wow. And, so it was a uh, huge opening. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was there early enough that they actually gave out cards. Yeah. To the, to, uh, that decode the stuff on the walls. Yeah, yeah. Because, Translation card. Yep, yeah. They put a bunch of, um, of, like, sayings and stuff on the wall, but they're all in, uh, in like, Disney made script. Yeah. And they have a decoder card that you can get. Yeah. And uh, it was cool, but I, I still I held on to that. Yeah, that. yeah. Um, I think I have one somewhere too. <laughs> but when the ride opened, that was the big deal is that there were all kinds of messages to decode inside it. Yeah. We should rewind just a little bit. Yes. So when this was built in the 90s, people have to remember the context. Like right now, the theme park business is booming and everyone's doing good. Yeah. Because people, I don't know. Like, I feel like it was. Now, this is getting a little off top, topic almost, That's okay. but I feel like it was the advent of social media that made the theme park industry have a, new, a kind of a renaissance. Yeah. Because with social media, you could share um, you could share experiences. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think I feel like that's created, like, theme parks have really benefited from that because yes. now it's like, oh, look where he went. Oh, look what they did. Wow. You could, you know, before you just kind of had to hear about it. Yeah. Family photos. And exactly. Yeah. But with social media now, it's, it's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's done a lot for the themed experience. It gets people out of there into the parks. Exactly. Yeah. But, um, in the nineties though, things were a little bit weird where, you know, theme parks had been around, but they kind of weren't cool. Yeah. Um, and then in the nineties you had like six flags start to show up and roller it's like, coasters oh, and roll thrills and, yeah. and roller well, coasters. Baby rides. Yeah, and exactly. Like, and even Universal started to get a little more extreme, yeah. you know, with its stuff. <laughs> Disneyland was starting to get seen as kind of like uncool. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like, oh, dorky baby Disneyland, you know. And, uh, you know, it wasn't really until 2005 when they mark when they marketed the 50th anniversary as very nostalgic and very sweet, that they did a good job convincing people that like that kind of stuff was was cool. Yeah, like it can be a little little sweet and dorky Slow, and whatever, yeah. and it's okay. Yeah, 
but in the 90s that was not the case it no. was in the 90s it was like you're a baby going to disneyland you know whatever yeah so something that i heard so in case you don't know the the, the big imagineer throughout like 70s 80s 90s yeah, and he, until recently, I think the biggest Imagineer that's like worked yeah, like, one of the biggest ones that, ever that was recent. Yeah. yeah, of the second generation yeah. is Tony Baxter. Yep. and this was his baby, mm. and uh, and he even said that when they signed the deal with Lucasfilm in the '80s for uh, Star Tours, yeah, he said the whole time I was just going, "Give me Indiana Jones." Yeah, I want to make a ride for that. Yeah, it's like Star Tours. He's like Star Wars made the most sense commercially because yeah. it's, it's Star Wars, untouchable. Yeah. But he said he always felt like. Indiana Jones was the better fit for Star- for Disneyland mm-hmm. because it was very you know he said and this is interesting too it's like he's like it was in the spirit of what of the kind of shows and stuff that Disney used to have like Zorro and yeah. Davy Crockett and stuff like that it was in the spirit of adventure and exploration he's like and that fit that fit Adventureland yeah which I never really thought about but that's very right. true yeah um, but anyway uh, so he pitched that right in the nineties he's like. I think we need to build a cool, you know, to kind of like get ourselves back in the eye of, you know, so to speak, yeah. of, uh, of of people wanting to go to theme park stuff like that. I think we could. I think we need to build some. Indiana Jones would be a cool thrill, a yeah. cool thrilling thing. Yeah. And uh, and you know, Michael Eisner was all about bringing movie stuff into the parks. So that yeah. was like his mo. So he was like, you know, into it, and they well, they thought he would buy it. They like, okay, he'll go for that. It's a fun movie. Yeah. But I guess at the time, again, it was like budget was tight, oh, yeah. and like, you know, no, we can't really do that right now. Like, well, you know, there's a lot of budget shit with him in the '90s mm-hmm. and going on. Anyway, and then I guess Tony Baxter went to him and said, well, okay, let's talk about how we can't afford to do it. Yeah. And then let's talk about how we can't afford not to do it. Yeah. And that was the famous presentation. It was basically like, yeah, it's going to, we're going to like bleed this much. But. It's going to bring this many people into the park. Yeah, like, but look at the way things are going. And we have no stake in this new extreme yeah. theme park, you know, experience. Yeah. So, uh, so it was like, yeah, can't argue with that. I think maybe we do need to build that, you know. Yeah. And they, they won the argument there. But anyway, um, so they went to work on Adventureland. And I think. That was, uh, Advent- wasn't Adventureland closed a long time? I think it was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, the only other ride in Adventureland is, uh, is Jungle Cruise. Yeah, Jungle and Cruise. And that was closed during the whole, like, yeah. renovation of this. And a lot of people don't realize that was, like, rerouted. Yeah. Kinda. They used to go into where the, and they, they, they shortened a, a bend or something yeah. like that to yeah. fit the temple and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people forget how drastic that was, yeah. I think, during all that. But, um. But they kind of, when they, they, it seemed like they kind of had an overarching Indiana Jones plan for Adventureland, mm-hmm. and some of it we got. Um, Adventure or uh, uh, Jungle Cruise, yeah, kind of took a different theme. Like once they added in the Indiana Jones right here, yeah, the Jungle Cruise kind of became. Uh, uh, like, like it, it kind of seems like it's in the same time period Yeah, the, now. like, 1920s explorer, yeah. like, um, importing goods, like, yeah. things like that from all over it's the kind world. kind of like the theme of it changed a little yeah. bit, um, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Um, now, what's interesting is if you look at the original plans for the Indiana Jones ride, mm-hmm. this is not what happened, but all the original artwork was going to have it even that much more interconnected, where... Um, the Jungle Cruise boat was going to go in and out of the temple. Yeah. Like, at the bottom of it, you'd see stuff going on. The train was going to go through the temple. Oh. It was going to have all these intersecting things. Yeah. Very Tomorrowland, like, people move or kind of, you know, whatever. And it just never came. It was, like, too ambitious. Yeah. Never happened. That sounds too great. Um, but we still got an awesome ride yep. out of it. And so... Um, as you said, open in, open in 95, whatever. Um, so I guess we can kind of go through it yeah. piece by piece. Um, you know, first of all, as you said, first there's this waiting area outside. Yeah, this open area that's kind of just like uh, pillars and yeah. and just temple stuff outside. Sure. And uh, But the temple itself... Yeah. is really just a facade it's it's yeah so there's nothing really in it, it yeah. it's just your entrance to a long tunnel to yeah. the show building that is 
off-site. Yeah, the show it building is, it is, is like, all the way back, like where you park. Yeah, if you take the tram in, yeah. if you're ever here, you take the tram in, you'll yeah. see this giant building, giant green building. Gi yeah, green trim and or you whatever. Can, yeah. And uh, that's the ride building for this. And you can actually hear every like ten seconds yeah. the rumble of the boulder. Yeah. So, like, and we'll get to that. But, oh uh, my God! Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah. Uh, you really do. It, it really does trick you into walking <laughs> all the way back. Yeah, you don't realize how far you're going no, out of you the park. You are going far. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the line is great. I, like, yeah. it is such a cool one of the line. best cues for any. Yeah, they made it really kind of interactive and not like um, Disney World's doing a lot of like interactive stuff. Yeah. But it's not like oh, this is just a fun thing to do. It actually yeah. ties in with everything. Exactly, it fits. Yeah. It fits. Like yeah, that, that, they have a, they have an interactive haunted mansion queue over in Florida, like, oh, da, 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 da. and it's like children's toys. Yeah, yeah it does not no, add up. This actually this is just it breathes sense. life into the queue. Totally, and I not totally just agree. a fun thing to, to do while you're you're yeah waiting. Exactly. Um, um, well, yeah. let's start real quick. Just let's yeah. start outside. Yeah. So when you're outside, you're outside the temple. You're waiting to go in. Yeah. Um, now there is a truck. Like they've got like a truck with a, yes. running a generator in the back and stuff. It's all fit into that time. Yep. Now, I have heard rumors about that truck. That I believe it, this rumor. That yep. it it's from what Raiders yep. of the Lost it's Ark. From or one of the, I think it's from Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's from one of the movies. They say it's 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 from the movie. Yeah. And they say you know this because it actually still has the mounts for the cameras on the side, uh, and it does. If you look at really? it, really, it's wow. two mounts, and they're just they're just one pole that yeah. goes up, and they have a golf ball stuck on it on so it doesn't so it's not sharp. Uh, so it's not because it's just a threaded thing. Yeah. And they're there, and it's like why else would they be there? Yeah. No, I've heard that those are one camera mounts and two um, mounts for the stuntmen to hold on to. So I don't know which one it okay. could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but they're there. Those aren't yeah. like why would they have those on there if those totally. weren't from for movie yeah that's a little weird. Purposes. Now yeah. then I was thinking well Raiders of the Lost Ark though I mean is going far back. Yeah. So then I was thinking well maybe this was only six years after uh, Last Crusade came out. Yeah. So I thought well maybe it's from maybe it's from that. Mm -hmm. But then we were over at, you and I were over in Florida with Going, the stunt show, yeah. and there's a bunch of vehicles there, and I think those are definitely from Last Crusade. Yeah. Because that opened the same time as Last Crusade did. Yeah. And they looked like they were, like, Nazi vehicles and stuff. I just, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I yeah. can't place exactly what it was. Me but. neither. I don't know what movie it'll be from, but, like, yeah. I, I want to say they probably just pulled it out of a Raiders, like, yeah, like, maybe. Like, um, so some warehouse on, like, yeah, yeah. The movie. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, hard to say. Yeah. So I, I'm curious if that's legit or not. But yeah. we'll see. Anyway, it's got to be from something. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's outside. You see all the structures, whatever. Okay, so uh, they kind of, yeah, you're waiting outside and they kind of, like, one by one, like, let people into the temple. All right, uh, next eight people. All right. Yeah, they just let a bunch of people in and then you'll go yeah. into the temple. And you walk for a while down, down yeah. the temple area. And it's just... Yeah, and now I remember hearing a rumor right when you walked into the, right when you go into this front little room. Yeah, there's a pillar in the middle of it, and it's a great detail. The whole theme of this temple is that there is an idol inside that yeah. people uh, the, uh, uh, called Mara. Yep, and you are not supposed to make eye contact with it. You can't the look into the Mara's eyes. The temple is full of riches, either either uh, gold and riches or like fountain of youth type yep. stuff or. Uh, the third thing. I know. I always three. forget what the three things. Oh, yeah. I know. It's like time, riches, and like space. I think yeah, it's just stars. It always so. looks like space. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know. What would you, <laughs> I, I don't know what to I call can't it. Remember. Knowledge. Even. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, there's a pillar with those three things on it, mm -hmm. and uh, that pillar is in the middle of the room. And for years, people were like, "This pillar is right above." where the skeleton in bed in Pirates of the Caribbean is. Because that's underground, you're above that, you're directly above that. Yeah. That's what I heard for years. I don't think that's true at all. I don't think that's true I don't at think all that either. matches up. Because like I said, like, you, you do go under the tracks on Pirates of the Caribbean, but yeah. you're still in a show building that you can see from a map, from like a satellite Sure, map. but, but, but like, in Pirates though, the, the uh, skeleton part yeah. is a transition to that building. Really? It's not in the building. It's actually a tunnel to the... Yeah. But I still don't think that adds up. That, I don't think I, so. Either. Yeah, I don't buy that. I anyway, don't either. But I heard that for years. Really? Oh my God. Yes, for years. But anyway, uh, that's besides the point. So anyway, you keep going through, and uh, you kind of walk through a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But eventually, 
Yeah, you just walk through, through like, uh, it's a bunch of basically, um, there's not so much, you're, you can still see outside, there's the, like yeah. the roof's open and everything like that. Yeah. And you're just walking through nothing, but then you go into these like bat caves. Yeah, and, yeah. And I always thought like, oh, this is cool weird caves, but yeah. um, the, the texture of it, I didn't understand as a kid, uh -huh. but it's all just um, bat crap. Everywhere. Yeah, it's meant to be guano. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, and there's bat noises and everything. And yeah. then doesn't that lead into the uh, spike room for the movie? Yeah. So there's a room that, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a trap. Yeah. It's like a spike room. You wouldn't know it right away. It's just a, a, a room, but then there's, to your left, there's skeletons yeah, and there's stuff like, through spikes. Yeah. They're just all stuck. And then there's one bamboo pipe yeah. that says, don't move, like don't touch. Yeah, this. don't touch. Yeah. And obviously, you can you can mess with it. Yeah. And if you if you set it off, it starts bringing the spikes down on you. Yeah, they actually yeah. start to lower a little bit, and the do the skeletons move? Like the spikes go up? I don't think so. I, I think can't it's remember. Just above. Oh, okay. And it's only a little bit. Okay. Um, I remember when I first went on the ride. Yeah. That that bamboo pole yeah. was solid. Was rigid. Completely rigid. Yeah. And I don't think they have changed it. Because that is know. the floppiest bamboo I've ever seen. Yeah, that, that bamboo. It is just blah, 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 that bamboo blah, blah, blah. lost the. Yeah. Lost it where it counts. Yeah. That bamboo. They need, need some Viagra it, it nowadays. Uh, it, it's just this bent piece of. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, a bamboo. it's just 23 years yeah. of people going like yeah, that. Yeah. Exactly. Know? Um, it's almost like the uh, the stanchion in the haunted mansion. Yes. I didn't mean to rhyme that, but no. uh, but, <laughs> they got but rubbed there's down one to... on the corner. And for 45 years, when people turn the corner, they'd grab onto it. And so this brass bat, his head is just like, a smooth yeah, it's glob. Yeah, completely smooth, though. You know, 45 years of erosion. I know. Hand erosion. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's got to be what it is. But yeah. it, you have to, to get that thing to work, mm -hmm. you have to solid yeah. jolt it. And it's so funny because people to this day, I'll go on and they'll yeah. go, yeah, it sucks this doesn't work anymore. And I'll go, step aside. Yeah. Boom! And then yeah, it just brings yeah. the thing down. And it's like it works. That, you just, you have also, to hit it just right. like do that, or if you just consistent pressure. Just oh really? Keep keep pushing it, pushing it, yeah. pushing it. It'll it'll go. It'll click. Oh, it eventually will. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to know. Because there's yeah. a lot of people I know that are like, it doesn't work anymore. It's done. Yeah. It, it, it still true. works. Yeah. Now after that room uh, is this area that just it's like a slight walkway up, and yeah. it has diamonds. In, like cut into yeah, there's the diamonds on the, on, yeah. the, on the ground. When I was a kid, I yeah. thought if you stepped on those diamonds, something would happen. Well, isn't there a sign? There's a yes. sign that says, Don't. do not step on diamonds. Yeah. Right? And so I was like, oh no. And I thought like it was gonna, something was going to happen. Apparently, nothing does. Yeah. But that was going to be an effect. That's what I heard. That yeah. never got put in. Yeah. It was going to be, the, they were going to be pressure sensitive yeah. and they would do something yeah. when you walked over it. Um, but I guess they just kept the signage and everything yeah. up. Yeah. But never... That breaks my heart. Yeah, I, I heard that was a budget cut. Yep. So that that sucks. You're gonna hear the word budget cut. Yeah, a lot, a lot this during this. But anyway, yeah. um, but uh, <coughs> although although you will say budget cut a lot, but it's still one of the most deluxe rides yeah. here. Budget cut or not? You, like Tony Baxter did a great job. Exactly. For what, he, what he had. It's only when you hold it up to the microscope that yeah. you see like, oh, that was gonna be that. Oh, that was yep. gonna be that. Anyway, uh, yeah. but yeah, the diamonds thing. When, yeah, the first time I went on it. I didn't go on this ride till I was like 20. Really? I, I did not go on it as oh, a kid. Yeah. Um, I've never, I was never big on thrill rides. It, it's, I, I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. it sounded scary. It wasn't until I was like, tw it wasn't until I was like 18. I think yeah. actually, yeah, not 20. I think it was like 18. And I, it was like, well, I got to give it a shot yeah. at least. And then I loved the first ride through. I loved it. Was it. Great. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, but the first time I went, I was like, am I not supposed to? Step I was on this? so nervous <laughs> the first time I went. Yeah. I was super nervous. <laughs> But going into, like, after that, it's basically, that's like the atrium area, right? I think so, Where yeah. Where it, it, it kind of spir spirals around. Yeah. Uh, it's just this big atrium that has yeah. a lot of cool details and scaffolding put up just yeah, to look like it's, yeah. it's a dig. Yeah. Like, it's meant for archaeologists. Yeah, they've been, to, they've been digging through they, the temple. Yeah. yeah. And um, now, the line kind of uh, corkscrews around. Yeah. And there's, um, a, like, a well. With a yeah, rope, another great detail. With a rope sticking in it that's covered up. You can't see into the well, but you can see a rope going down yeah. into some wood flat. Almost like someone went down, yeah. down into it. And yeah. you can hear in the well somebody picking away, like somebody yeah. talking and picking away. And if you pull the rope, yeah. <laughs> he's, he goes, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. And, he, and you can hear him fall. Yeah. 
and uh, that's just a cool detail. Like, oh, oh, that got me. When, when I was a yeah, kid, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, you could yeah. screw up this guy's, this poor guy's dig. Yeah, yeah, that, that's another great detail. Yeah, it's a small little detail, and it's just it's great. It's and really it kind of cool. when you pull it, it kind of has some give. Yeah, or it kind of it, it feels like you knocked something yeah, over. Yeah, the, the, the it's like loose now. Yeah. it's like he's not on the rope anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's cool. They did a good job with yeah. that. So then you go. The next room you go in is where they are projecting a film. Yeah. About the ride. Yeah. And it's hosted by Sola. Well, it's a, it's like a newsreel. Yeah. But then it has little breaks in it by Sola yeah. from the movie. And he goes, welcome, my friends, so to good. the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Yeah. I, Sola, will tell you. And he tells you. Mm-hmm. He explains the ride. And I get, I heard that uh, Tony Baxter talked about this. And he basically said, he's like, we had to put, because this ride wasn't, it was... It was kind of like, what is it? Yeah. Is it a dark ride? Is it a thrill ride? What What am I dealing with? They felt compelled to put a video. Yeah. Because it, it just like, hey, people need to know what kind of ride like, this is. To let them know. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why there's kind of an instructional video. It's like, okay, the video, you know, this ride is bumpy. Um, so just strap in and make sure your belongings are in the yeah. thing. It just, it, it just, it just kind of brings you up to speed. Yeah. And uh, and the newsreel just kind of keeps showing clips of like, oh, you know, all these people went in there and got rich, but don't look at the idol. Yeah, it keeps warning you, don't yeah, look like, at the don't, idol. If you see the idol's that, eyes. That's, that's the crutch of the whole ride. Yeah. yeah. And what they do, what is so great about the ride, and this is why this is one of the best rides ever. Tony Baxter understood something that a lot of ride designers or Imagineers, whatever, yeah. couldn't understand. And that is... Rides aren't as good when they are a book report. And yes. I think Tony coined that term, book report ride. You know, when you go on the mermaid ride, it's the story of the movie. Yeah. Let me tell you about this mermaid who wanted to yeah. who wanted to go above the water. And you see the little mermaid, and then you see her get her legs, and then she kisses the boy, yeah. and then, you know, it's like a A, B, C, D. Okay, yeah. you know, whatever. And Tony Baxter thought it was more important to do rides that were an experience. Because that's what, like, Pirates was. Yeah. You know, it's like... There's no story there, but you're just getting you're 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 about to go head first into the pirate's lair, yes. basically, you know, or or whatever. And the example that Tony gave that he said, what is the most effective moment in a Disney ride? Is he said when you go on Peter Pan, it's not just here is the story of Peter Pan. It's yeah. not. It's come on everybody, here we go. Yep. It's you can fly. Yeah. It's putting you in the seat. It's not about like look what Peter Pan's doing. Yeah. It's more. Um, it's more about you, what you are doing. Hey, come on, everybody, here we go. It's yeah. experience, you know. And Indiana Jones, why it's good is it is you are involved yeah. the whole time. He's talking to you going, hey, you're going to go through this thing. Don't look in the eyes of the, the idol, yeah. all this stuff. Like, yeah, the whole time you're in there, it's yeah. like, what are we, yeah, what are we going to find? Yeah. Join us, you know. Indiana Jones, he's already in there. Yep. Come join the exca- excavation, you know. Don't look at it. Puts you in the center of it to where yep. now it's an experience, and uh, and that's why it works so good. It's yep. not just the story of Last Crusade or no. Temple of Doom. It's yeah. In that in that reel, it kind of says yeah. that Indiana Jones went in yeah. and they never saw him. Like that's they, it. They don't know where he is, and that's the so, end of his story. Yep. So. Now it's on you. Yep. You're, you're, you're going to go you're in gonna there. You're going to go in there. Exactly. And, yeah. You're the explorer. Yep. And that's why it's so cool. Because when you're there as a kid, it just feels like, I'm going to find something. Yeah. What am I going to find? You know? And even as an adult, it just, it just uh, it's constantly putting the attention on you. Mm-hmm. And that just makes it a great experience. Yes. It's not just, here's the story of Indiana Jones. Yeah. You know? So anyway, that's why it works so good. Yeah. But anyway, um, so the film kind of yeah. brought... Keeps, hy- keeps hyping up that there's exactly. an idol in there. Um, that film is, I didn't realize this, but there are parts cut out of it throughout the years. If you go back and look oh, at old versions of it, yeah. there there's stuff that they don't really use anymore, and we'll get yeah, into that, yeah. that are part of that, that thing. Yeah. They explain stuff, and, and it was really cool. I didn't realize that until just recently, yeah. watching old, old videos. Yeah, and, that uh, is interesting. Yeah. You showed me that. Yep. That kind of surprised me. How they had stuff like... like like just cut out because like oh we don't we don't really cover that anymore yeah yeah um now i do want to point out just real quick yeah side note but i went on this ride the only other place that has an indiana jones ride like this yes like paris has an indiana jones ride but it's like an it's off, a, the, it's an it's off a, the shelf yeah, roller it's a roller coaster it's dumb um but tokyo disney sea has indiana jones and the crystal the crystal skull or whatever made before the movie yeah 
but uh, but it's the same system and everything. Yeah. But it's all in Mexico. Yes. So instead of this being this uh, this strange temple in the jungle, it's a Mexican you know temple. But uh, I, I'm bringing this up now because the film here um, is hosted by Sola. Yeah. Over there, it was a Paco film. Yeah. It's just some fat guy, some Mexican guy yeah. named Paco, and he holds up a sign. Hey, Paco Films presents. What's inside yeah. the temple, you know, or whatever, yeah. and he teaches you. It's the same thing, except it's Mexican themed. Yeah. That's it. But I don't know why Paco Films. It's just some random dude with a sign that says Paco Films. <laughs> Made me laugh so hard. I was like, hey, I kept bugging Garrett all day when we were there. I was like, Garrett, what's your favorite Paco film? Yeah. You have a favorite Paco film? Anyway, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, but here it's Sola, yeah. who is an iconic Indiana Jones character. Oh, yeah. And how great he wasn't in the fourth one. It was great, great decision. criminal that he wasn't in the fourth one. Anyway, I heard that uh, John Rhys Davies, who's yeah. the actor, uh, uh, was here only a couple years ago. Like he had never taken his kids on it, yeah. and was like, "All right, you're old enough, let's go," or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, but people saw him here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, okay, so we move on past that. Yeah. Well, actually, we should say in that room, in that projection room, there is a secret. Yes. There is. Uh, because back when they, uh, before they did all these renovations and changes, that land was a parking lot. Yep. <laughs> That's where you're going. And uh, it was specifically the Eeyore lot. And in that room, you'll need a cast member to show you because you cannot see it otherwise. Yeah. But in the projection room, you can, if they point it out to you, there is an Eeyore parking lot sign yeah. like wedged up in the they rafters. They saved one and put it up there as like... Yeah. Like, it's like a little tribute to yeah. what used to be there. Yeah, I remember, I, I, I parked there. Yeah. I, rem- I mean, I didn't drive, yeah. my parents did. But anyway, so that's over there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so the next thing. Now, you walk into the next room, kind of, the, you, you know, the queue goes around. It is cool. I do like uh, Indiana Jones' office is right there. Yes. When you go through, that's a great detail. Mm-hmm. It's, like, full of his stuff. That's all. Yeah. I just and and it's so funny because that's just there for, like, there's no, it's just there to look at. It's, yeah. it's really cool they added that little You detail. could pour over it. Yeah. It's full of all these artifacts and stuff yep. like that. So that's great. Um, there are little Easter eggs in it, though. There's, like, as you go further, there's crates and stuff. And one of them is to, like, deliver to, like, Club Obi-Wan or something. Yeah. And, you know, there's little nods to stuff. Yeah. Uh, really? I don't. I don't know what other ones there. Are. No, I can't. I, I, can't I know think the. Of I know the Obi Wan one. Yeah, that's it. I can't think of any other ones. But other uh, like after that, it's basically like you're basically at the ride. Yeah, you're going ramps. And yeah, then you go upstairs. It, it's a ramp and you go down. stairs, or um, if you're a single rider or um, in the like accessible one. Yeah, yeah. You get to take the elevator. Up yeah, you can take the and elevator. Go over. Yeah. Um, but then you're pretty much at yeah, the vehicles. You're pretty much there, and uh, and. Yeah, they just load you on like every other vehicle. Yeah, like, I mean they're like big jeeps. Yeah, um, it's always fun being in the driver's seat. Yeah, because you don't get the everyone normal, can, Everybody gets like the normal rail to hold yeah. on to, but you get a steering wheel. You can't turn it. Yeah, but it's still a steering wheel to hold on. It's to. It's fun, and then everyone kind of yells at you like, yeah. "Drive safe!" Yeah, there better not be big snakes on this ride. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I always enjoy that. But anyway, uh, so then that takes off. So how does it start then? No. Yeah. yeah, this is where it already it already yeah. gets dodgy. As soon as it starts, there's an effect that hasn't been used in years. Like, yeah. And this is going to be a continuing theme for a lot of yes. a, lot, a lot of the ride. Yes. Um, if you as soon as you start, um, if you look to the left, um, yes. just against the wall in there, yeah. there's a bunch of mirrors. They're yeah. like weirdly put together, like yeah. like it's a wall of mirrors, like yeah. like like with frames and everything. Yeah. And uh, what that used to do was it would um, swing out slightly yeah. so that you could see the other car going into the next room. The vehicle ahead of you. The vehicle ahead of yeah. you, yeah. Because there's an element in the next room of... Yeah, the very of, first room you go to when you turn. Yeah, when you turn, there's three rooms you could go into. Yeah. And, and it's for, uh, what, like, wealth, like... Wealth, uh, yeah, uh, youth, and, and what is the other one? I don't knowledge? Know. I don't I think wisdom? it's knowledge. I think it's wisdom. Okay, whatever. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody, if we get this wrong. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's the sex room. Oh yeah, that's what it was. But I, it, I never, I yeah. never go in there. It's three separate rooms you go in. But the cool thing was back then was that the facade was basically it was a trick. It was a trick. Um, the 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 
the track you go on and the, the path you go is always the same. Yes. But the front of it <coughs> will roll on a pivot yeah. and change. So, so that it looks like you're going in a different door. So when you go around that corner, the car it looks like you. you're going in this door. And then the next one yeah. looks like going in this door. But really, you're going up the same as always, but yeah. the front of it changes. Yeah. Now, when those mirrors were in place, you could see somebody going up one of the doors. And then yeah. when you go, it's a different door. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm going in a different one. And it just it creates a, the, the, the illusion that yeah. basically you're going all over this, this temple. Yeah, right? yeah. You're, you're, you're going in one of three doors, yeah. even though it was the same one every time. Yeah. I think that is one of the best tricks yep. they ever did. And that was like a bottleneck for that ride because that was an effect that broke yep. all the time. It, all the time. And eventually, after 20 years, yep. they got rid of it. Yep. They, and it, it, it didn't change for years. It didn't even change. Yeah. It just sat there. And you go, you go in the middle door you every go time. go in the middle door yeah. every time. And then only a couple of years ago, yep. they decided they added because Disney's doing a lot of projection stuff. Yes. They decided to just have projection on that one door yeah. and just change it that way every time. Yeah, so now so, it's full. It's fully an animated projection over yeah, it. Yeah, And it looks cool. It does. It's a different vibe. It, you know, it still changes like, oh, you got the, you're going to the Room of Wealth. Yeah. And all these coins start to fall out yep. of it or whatever. It's a good effect, but it is not the same. I prefer the old school effect. Totally. Like, it was a physical. Yep effect you, the, and it made like, you think you were going into a different room it, like okay here's this door and the other two doors yes. are not leading to yes. anywhere and you, you go through that like yeah the, the effect now is visually yeah, cool but it's still you're going through that is, middle door but it the, is not a, it is absolutely not a how did they do that effect exactly now or, it's just a yeah. cool looking effect that's yep. it there are still two doors you just never go through ever yes it's still the same middle door but yeah. it's just they changed the window yeah door. I think that was a little bit disappointing that they gave up on that yeah. to me yeah. I mean I don't know that's I guess happened. it means the ride won't break down as much, but uh, yeah. it, that hurts mm -hmm. a little bit. Anyway, yeah. So then you go through, yep, you and go then through, you and go up a hill. Yeah, it's it's the basically whatever the room changes yes. to whatever you've gotten. Um, so and it's just uses scrims well, yeah. and things like that. Wealth or youth or yeah. or sex, whatever so, that. So the third yeah, one was. each one actually knowledge, the, and that's still the same. That's how it was back then, and now yeah. it is. It like. It just it will change to whatever it, your car is technically yeah. gone through. Yeah, and they use different effects to achieve this, to, and which are still good effects. Yeah. It, it feels like three different rooms. There's one where uh, they use scrims, yep. and it's like, oh, there's piles of gold everywhere, and then the lights go out. Um, well, what they'll do is if you get the youth room, they'll light those scrims a different way. Yeah, so you see so, behind them. So you, yeah, 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 you won't see the gold. Yeah. You'll see paintings of someone like drinking from the fountain of youth. Yep. And the water and, it, and that, all that. that effect still works. Yeah, all yeah, of that and, still works. And that's great. And the third one, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, it's just dark and stars. It's dark and there's stars everywhere. Yeah. So they use, yeah, three different effects to, yeah. to make the room feel different. Yeah. But recently they added the projection effect. So, so yeah. spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> someone, uh, there's the giant idol with yeah, the, uh, the giant Laura's face eyes in front of, yeah. right there. She's looking right at you. Yeah. And they announce as you're in the car. You looked into the eyes so, of the idol. Exactly. Like, we asked you not to. When I was a kid, like, yeah. I closed my eyes. Really? When I saw that, yeah, I was no young kidding. enough, I yeah. was just like, oh, I'm gonna, like, I don't want to look. Really? But I peeked. I peeked. Oh, okay. So, and that, that's legit. Like, yeah. I didn't want to look, and then yeah. I, I peeked out for a second. Yeah, your fate, and then it tells yeah. you your fate is doomed. Yep. Uh, now, the thing, that, now, before, it was just a giant idol's head, and then it would start flashing. Strobe like, lights yeah. and, and fog out of the eyes. Now it, that is a whole projection effect. Yep. Where now it looks like it's cracking and like almost like bleeding, kind of falling apart. Yeah, it's deteriorating and crumbling in front of you. It's scary. Yeah. I think that effect is cool. Yeah. I actually think that is better. I do. Yeah. It, it's not just a static face that has this deep voice. A strobe light. A, a strobe light, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. When they added that projection effect, remember they didn't change the voice. Like they added a new voice. Yeah. Almost temporarily. Yeah. Like it wasn't as booming and scary. No, it was like you looked into the eyes yeah. of the idol. Yeah. And and and. <laughs> But they kept the projection, and then immediately, like not too long later, get brought it back to another booming skill. Yeah, like, almost looked like, like James eyes. Earl Jones. Yeah, voice. Like, it needs to be a booming voice. Yeah, yeah. For a minute, it wasn't, but I think that was just yeah, I think temporary. Just, yeah, I think yeah. it was temporary. Yeah. But, but anyway, now that yeah. you've looked into the eyes of Mara, all hell breaks loose. So that yeah, then your car gets torn to yeah, the left. You're going, brrr, like, yeah. Damn. You go into I've best got, part of the ride. It's the I forgot what that room is called. I can't remember the... Well of Souls or something? Something, yeah. <laughs> but it's really cool because you're going through and there's light 
like lightning everywhere, lightning going and, along the walls. And then you get your first glimpse of Indiana Jones. Yep. He's trying to seal a door that has like a tornado he's behind like, it. He's basically holding back what is being released. He's like, yeah. he's like, oh, you had to look and, and things and, like and that. And again, that's key to the whole thing. Yeah. Is that moment of you had to look. Yep. You did this. This yep. is your fault. Yep. It's not. Hey guys, I help help me. I'm Indiana Jones. Yeah, hey, help me. It's I'm, not I'm here that. to save you guys. Like exactly. Yeah. It's you had to look, didn't you? Like you, you know, he doesn't say this, but you, yeah. know, you asshole. Yeah. Like you wrecked this. Yeah. Like I don't know what to do now. Yeah. Like and it's he gives all you just on like, you. Up to the left. Like yeah. Like, left. Left. Yeah. It just adds to this chaos of what? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What is? Yeah. You know, and that's what makes the ride so yeah. good. And so then you go to the left, and you make these turns. Whatever. It feels like you're going up steps. It did, right? Like, yeah. Kinda, um, you know, that's going down. The, oh, uh, basically, okay. you go around that thing, and then you just kind of go doo, 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 in, yeah. into the. Basically, actually, I'm, I'm going ahead of myself. When you, when he says to the left, and you yeah. go around, yeah. you basically hard whip around, and it's this big booming <laughs> music, <laughs> and, and you see a big like rock face in, yeah. in, at the back of this giant room yeah yeah and uh like flames are coming out of its eyes it's basically just mara but it's like a stone version deteriorated Deteri stone version yeah. evil looking mara yeah and then you you basically it simulated to go down like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah oh i forgot to mention these ride vehicles yeah are essentially stationary at the base yeah but the entire top the part that's a truck the yeah. jeep is all on rocked. pistons. Yeah, stuff. yeah, you're so, getting rocked around. So it's basically it's part like car, uh, dark ride car and part Star Tours. Yeah. In in terms of they can control it's simulating how, both. how to yeah. simulate all the motion of yeah. the ride. So you go around a turn, it will bank on yeah. that, but the bottom is not banking at all. Yeah. Like stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, so you go down that that those steps that aren't really there. They're just simulated going down steps. Right. And you go into like um, oh, you go into. You go by my probably favorite lost effect. Yeah, so we should talk ride. about this. This is one effect that was there. People can testify. Yeah, it was there. Was there like the week it opened? It was so quick. Right? And and even when it was there, it wasn't every car. Right. Like, you didn't see it every time. Oh. It, was, it was just, it was every, like I say, like maybe minute or two. Yeah. And so if your car went by, you didn't see it. Yeah, um, but right around, right after you go down that th uh, down those steps, and you go around. There was an effect of falling rubble. Like as soon yeah. as you go down, it would, um, essentially that stone Mara um, would blast a laser at the yeah. ceiling, yeah. and and stuff would fall from that. Yeah, spot. yeah, the te like the temple's crumbling. Yeah, like, yeah. It, like it, it's doing that. And um, what it was was it was um, ice. <coughs> it was basically a machine. Yeah, that's how they did the trick. They could rapidly make. Um, opaque like brown, brown ice. ice yeah and it would basically drop it and it's it would an go machine. to the ground yeah. and it would melt and it would pump it back up and freeze it uh, like it would yeah. keep this cycle and basically it would it would it couldn't do it every car like I said yeah it was like every wasn't fast minute enough. or two it wasn't yeah. fast enough to reload um, so not everybody saw it but um, this effect was really cool yeah and yeah it got rusted out it yeah did, and it broke Really easy. Gunked up the track because yeah. it wouldn't. The ice wouldn't break quick enough. Exactly. And um, so couldn't not, make it. A fast lot of enough. people didn't see this effect. Yeah, not at all. And uh, it was rumored like because it stopped being yeah, used. And everything yeah, yeah. Like the sound is still there. It's always been there. Yeah, that sound effect still plays. If you go around yeah. that corner, you can still hear the rubble fall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, just recently, somebody uploaded an old home video. Yeah, of, yeah. Of the ride. Yeah. That caught it on film. Which yep. was like you, you don't see that very often, and it no. was like I had never seen it until I saw that. And yeah, same here. I was like, that is so because I've always heard its effect. Yeah, that effect. And is no, awesome. no, like proof or anything like that. But uh, basically, that um, that effect is dead. I heard all the stuff is still up there, like yeah. all the machinery and stuff. Oh yeah, they just it, turned it off. They just turned it off. Yeah, um, which is which is cool. Okay, but after that, like so well, that effect. I just oh, want to say ahead. real quick. Yeah. Uh, when we found that video. It yes. was so funny because our friend Sean, yep. it looked like he had an epiphany. And he was like, oh my God, I remember. I thought I made it up. That's yep. that the, the ceiling crumbled yep. there. He's like, I thought I made he that up it. because he's like, as a kid, I thought I made that up. And, and uh, how could the ceiling crumble? Yeah. How would they pull that off? They yeah. couldn't do that. 
No, it was an ice trick. Yep. <laughs> it was a really, really cool trick, and that bomb night never saw it. Yeah. I wrote it while I probably wrote it while it was going, yeah, yeah. but I just didn't. We only wrote it like once. It. Yeah. Um, so after that, after that turn, basically yeah. you go into I don't know what you would call that. It's like a mummy room. It, a it's, bunch of skeletons. It's a bunch of skeletons. Every Indiana Jones has to have a shit ton of skeletons, yeah. like a whole. Yeah. You know. And, and they're and they're just kind of like leaning out at you. In, yeah. in, in the tunnel. Yeah. And there's lots of fans screaming to, and, uh, yeah. to simulate that you're going faster than you actually are. Yeah. And so lots of fans on you. Yeah. Skeletons um, falling all over you. Yeah. So you go through that. Well, that, 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 room, that room has the one hidden Mickey of the ride. Oh, is it a hat? On? If you yeah. look back, you have to look back as you go through that room. And there's a, a skeleton with the Mickey hat on. Yes. The, the, the mouse ears. Yep. Anyway. And, uh, Okay, and after that ride, after that uh, basically exit, you go into the, is it the bug room? It's the bug room. Yeah, you see you, bugs on the wall. You right? go around, yeah. and yeah, it's an effect that basically it's a pitch dark room. Yeah. And essentially what it is, is it's simulating that your only light source is the headlights on your Jeep. Yeah, Pointing yeah. at the wall. And you can kind of see that the wall is covered in insects. Yeah. And what it is, is they're projecting off to the side your two like right. your, your two headlights it's projections and projecting yeah. the bugs and everything. But, but it's a, that's it's a, a good effect. It's a cool effect. Yeah. It is really cool. I, I'll, I'll never forget going on this with an old friend of mine. Yeah. I hate bugs. First of all, let me yeah. just get that out of there. And every time we went on that ride, he used to go, "Oh, Rocco, you're gonna hate this part." Rocco, close your eyes. I'm like, they're not real. Don't think they're real. Yeah. Every time, Rocco. Hey, just so you know what's coming up. Uh, yeah, it's it's Disneyland. Uh, yeah. It's not. There aren't. There aren't. Corpses in the haunted mansion either. Nope, exactly. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So you, you peel out of the, you peel out of that room and you go you end up in front of this giant bridge. Oh, I should can I just Yeah. I keep interrupting. No, go ahead. But I just want to say, in that room where the bugs are, yeah. I have heard that there are a lot like behind the wall on like behind you during that part. Yeah. I've heard maybe it's crap, but that a lot of the PCs that control the ride are in there. Really? Like there's a cluster of them in there. And yeah, and they're they're still running Windows ninety five. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that ride runs on Windows ninety five. I'm sure they wrote all the code for that. Yep. And why? Why it's change on, it? It's why? on a it's on a closed network. Yep. On running on Windows ninety five. Yep. That it's probably old old computers. In yeah. That that's awesome. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's yeah, cool. I think so. Anyway. Yeah. So the bridge, like, it's essentially this giant suspension bridge. Yeah. That you go over that that traverses basically this entire giant room. Um, the whole big, like, the main area of the ride is just this giant open area, which is yeah, really cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you traverse over that, and again, it's simulated like it's like it's kind of uneven. Yeah. When really it's just the ropes on the side yeah. are motorized. Are just so, jiggling. So they jiggle them. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the motion simulators. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's really cool because you can like a lot of times fire comes out during that time yeah and smoke and everything like that uh, then you go around well there's different effects on that bridge there's lasers sometimes, er, sometimes there's lasers sometimes it just shakes sometimes yeah. it does whatever and i remember talking with tommy tallarico about yeah. this and he said i've talked with imagineers about this ride and they told me there's technically like a million different combinations. Yes. It's one of those rides that they designed that is within the computer. Yeah. It randomizes everything. Yeah. So you can get a different ride experience every time. But he said, he said, it's just funny because it affects smallest things that yes. you don't even think about. So he's like, so when they say a million different variations, it's just, oh, this time on the bridge it went, pew, yeah, and, one and the other smoke, time it went, Burr. yeah, and then there's you know, and it's of like, smoke, oh, and then not a poop of smoke. oh, I guess the ride's it's different laser. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but. <laughs> And so you you exit that, and then you come around to I guess the, is it snake room? Yeah. And uh, when you come around, uh, you hear out of like you hear from somewhere. It says, "Why did it have to be snakes?" It's Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Sna no, snakes. snakes. You're on your own. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it goes back to what you said. Why you're does saying. he narrate that part? I don't know. Like he doesn't do that any he's other not, part. He's not anywhere in that ride. Yeah. I didn't, why, I didn't realize why, that. Until why now. chime in? Yeah. I don't um, understand that. But as soon as you go around there, there's a giant snake, like a big old cobra, and that that leans out to, and with fangs and everything. It used to move a lot quicker and a lot farther. I really? Remember. Yeah. Now, it, like, because I, I remember it used to look a little different. Yeah. It used to look a little more cartoony. Yes. And then they painted it more normal. But I feel like they, that's one of the things they changed in that it just doesn't like it doesn't swing out and move as, as much as really? I remember. Huh. Um, didn't you say there was a story about um, small snakes or big snakes? 
one big snake or a bunch of small snakes? Yeah, what was that? Um, was no, it, I can't remember. Tony Baxter? Wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, I don't know exactly it was, but it was somebody trying to convince that we need a big snake. It's, it's unrealistic yeah. to have yeah. a snake that big. Yeah. But it's like, uh, nobody's going to see a thousand snakes. Like, yeah, when you when you there, when you're on a ride, yeah. and there's a thousand little snakes. It's like cool, just keep driving. Yeah, just keep driving. It's but not it's threatening. Big, but yeah, it's a, giant snake. Yeah, yeah. And I and, and I think that. they. I don't I don't remember what the rest of that. But yeah. The, yeah, they that was the argument. It was basically like, why is there a giant snake? And it's like, it's a ride. You gotta yeah, go. You with gotta it. understand. You gotta go with it. Yeah. Uh, although I've heard, maybe I'm crazy. That I could be making this up. I don't know, but I've heard that there are a billion little rubber snakes in there really like there's a bunch around uh, all over and the place. and yeah. and like someone involved in the ride or something i could be making the story up i'm letting everyone know that they were mad because they like hand painted every one of these rubber snakes yeah. and you don't even see them I know. and it's like i've never I've, we worked this on is my this favorite forever. ride in the park i didn't know that yeah so that, May, that keep the, an eye out next yeah, time yeah i will yeah yeah i could be wrong on that yeah. i don't know anyway anyway okay. so after that is yeah it's like a dip it's like a turn, and then it goes down da, 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 into like da, 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 da. into like a. Um, it, you're basically behind the giant stone Mara head. Now. Yeah. And there's there's tons of skulls everywhere. Yeah. And um, piles, I, of piles everywhere. And I've read that there are actually 1,995 for 1995. Oh really? Yeah. Um, oh, that's, that's cool. how many skulls there are. I just right. got tripped on hard. Oh jeez. What was that? Don't know. I didn't get crapped on, did I? Nope. I don't think so. There's no birds around. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kill yeah. that bird if that was a bird. But anyway, uh, yeah, you go around there and there is a scrim that a lot of people didn't know about because it wasn't really A fully... lot of people don't look that yeah. way. <clears throat> there was a scrim look that up. was up there and it would, it would there would be this kind of streak. Like a, oh! Yeah. yeah. And it would project, um, I guess, Mara on there or something on it's there. Like a, it's like a ghost demon thing. Yeah. And it used to be very faint. Yeah, and they fixed it now. And they now just it's, repainted it's it. Much, it's much very, better. very black lit now. Yeah. Um, that has always been maybe my favorite part because people would never notice it. Yeah, and I used to make a joke, and I still like do it, and it's annoying. I know, but when I was again like when I started to come here a lot in my early twenties, yeah. no one would look up there, and and, no, and a lot of people I would ride with didn't know that effect was there. Yeah. So what I would do is I was going to go, don't worry, guys, I'll summon Ghost Lord. And I would go like that, and then people would look up. I would time it just right, yeah. and then people would see that thing come, like, right when I did that. Yeah. And pe- every now and then, you'd get someone where it was like, how did you do that? And it's like, no, it's always there. I've never seen that. <laughs> so that used to be a joke that I did. Yeah. But I will still, when you ride through it, I will still, instinctually, when I get to that part, I always go... Really, I always do that. Yeah. Even it's like no one's watching me. Why am I doing? <laughs> like, like I'm like I'll go on single rider and I'll still go, <laughs> like like I'm summoning a ghost. Yeah, I summon Ghost Lord. <laughs> anyway, I uh, so I used I, to love that part. I broke down Stupid. there once for like a half an hour. Right it there, was, really. It was during game days, and yeah. it was oh. with like Garrett, Eric. Yeah, uh, it was a bunch of people. Yeah, and yeah, we we were there for all the lights on. Just Damn. sitting there for like a half hour, Ooh. and uh, and they were walking everybody off. Yeah. And basically, the like, are we gonna have to walk off? And we didn't. They kept us on, and we got to ride the rest of it with the lights on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, which oh, was really awesome. cool. Yeah. But yeah, um, I it would have been cool to walk off, but uh, yeah. but whatever. We did walk off once. We yeah. went on a 24-hour day. Yeah. And right at six in the morning, we went on Indiana Jones yeah. as the park was closing. And uh, it br- in the eye of Mara, like yeah, the, 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 the opening, lift the opening lift. That you're not supposed to look at. Yeah, we did get to walk out through that, and yeah. it's really funny because you walk there and it like looks pretty much the same. But you you look over the edges and stuff, and it's all power drills laying yeah. there. It's stuff you wouldn't see in motion. Yeah, I was really interested in the ride vehicle in that in safety mode or whatever. Yeah. Like when it was broken down. Yeah. All the wheels turned, so it could never uh, roll back. Yeah. Cool. All, all four wheels just. Yeah, and so it's not—it's not gonna like roll back at all. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, and I'm sure there's tons of brakes and stuff. Anyway, but, so yeah. later in the ride, so exactly, Ghost Lord, you move on. Yep. You take a turn, and that's the room you see the rat projection, right? Yes. You it looks take like it as a dip, and then you go around. It's another pitch black room. Yeah. But um, it's a, an effect that 
basically you see a like vines or a branch yeah. and it's projected in fog yeah. onto fog and uh, essentially it's just rats and stuff running along and when you go it looks under like it you're going to hit this branch yeah. like, oh, when no. you go under it it gives the um, the sound of rats falling on your car yeah. on your jeep yeah. and uh, then you just go through that and then it goes into uh, the uh, dart room now wait I should say real quick I keep stopping this but no 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 go ahead before you sometimes now or is it every time I don't but, know but before you hit that rat part it's like it you yes. turn the corner and it's like the thing breaks down yes boom, 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 that's, boom, boom, boom. that's supposed to happen yeah and and then and then you speed forward yes. and it's the rat part I could, totally forgot about that now that was another thing that was supposed to be and it never was in there really but there was supposed to be an effect there really and it was you know about this no uh, at one point during planning of the ride, they had, because they wanted to get the mine train in there. The, uh, you know, the classic sequence in Temple of Doom where they're in the mine cars. Yeah. They wanted to have a mine car almost hit you. So it was like, oh no, no, no. Okay. And that never happened. Yeah. You know, budget cuts. But that sound and the way it acts in response is is the is that really it, it yeah it's almost like you hear it climb to a halt and something hits it or yeah. whatever but that effect is still simulated there oh, that's just cool. in audio yeah, yeah. Uh, but that it wasn't like something they took out later they programmed it that way and then it's like hey we can't add this. we can't okay, okay. so yeah. yeah but anyway so just something to think about that's if cool you I didn't that know part. that yeah yeah so anyway that's awesome so after that like after so then you get to the rats rats and then you get to the dart room which is basically yeah. Um, that's actually my favorite part. This that, is my favorite part. It's really, really cool. It's yeah. all these really nice, like, like um, paintings on the, like along the walls. Yeah. And you're just basically going down, and you kind of just go, what, "What's all this going on here?" And then immediately, just blasts of air start hitting you. Yeah. And your car starts kind of like dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And, it, yeah, and you feel it feels like they're whizzing darts yeah. past you. Yeah. You know. And uh, that's that's a really really cool effect. And, yeah, uh, it's great. That, yeah. I think that 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 the first time I went on the ride, I didn't know anything about yes. that because I knew kind of about oh, there's a big snake. Okay, whatever. Yeah. That part, I was like, damn, this is cool. Like yeah. that was when I loved it. Yeah. You know? Didn't Eric say something about like he, like that ride? Like what if like somebody could easily just put an actual dart in the, in the tube set? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Like I remember we were on uh, a ride with with him once. I think Sean was there too, and it was somebody some girl's birthday, and they yeah. put her in the driver's seat. And the entire ride, we kept going, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy yeah. birthday. And then when we got to the dart room, dun, 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 I, I was yelling, oh they're, oh, they're shooting birthday candles, happy birthday, Kelsey. And we were laughing so hard. Anyway, that's just a tangent. But anyway, yeah, they fire these darts at you. Yeah. And then you speed through that. Yep. You're basically and you know what's speed. funny? That effect works. You can tell because yeah. people still duck. Oh, I people duck. Go, oh. <laughs> I, I still, I still do this every time. It's like people don't want to get hit by, yeah. but even it's just because I know I'm going to get blasted. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to get hit, yeah. blasted by air. And then, then you turn the corner. Turn around the corner. It's the finale of the whole ride. Yep. It's you, all you see is Indiana Jones hanging from a rope right you, above you. You pull up right, like literally right above your yeah. hoodie, your hoodie of your uh, Jeep. Yeah. And, uh, and what does he say? He says something like. I can't remember what he says. Uh, yeah. Oh no, he says something like, like, um, back, uh, like, oh, let me in, or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come up, like, you're holding, let me in. And it's just like, yeah, what does he say there? I can't but think I remember of it. It's something like, don't back up, don't back, like, he says something like that. I can't remember. I thought exactly. he says, back up. Back up, back, back up, up, back up. Yeah. And, uh, tell me what you're gonna do <laughs> now. But, uh, yeah, he's hanging by a rope. And actually, I, I've read that, um, uh, that animatronic is actually completely uh, uh, pneumatic, with uh, meaning like with air. Oh like, yeah. All the pistons are done with air really? because um, uh, it was it would leak on the cars. Like the oh. hydraulic fluid would drip on the cars. Yeah, because it's hanging so right above. So they had yeah. to do the whole thing with hydraulic air, like yeah. air hydraulics. And, um, I never thought about that. Actually, it's not hydraulic, pneumatic. Sorry. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, so basically you're doing that and it's just completely black behind him. You can't yeah. see anything. And as soon as he, he starts, like, everything starts rumbling, he starts shaking on, on yeah. his thing, everything. You you start you, you start going backwards. Yeah, your car backs up. But you're not actually going backwards. Yeah, it's a trick. It's another trick that is still to this day, you, your I, brain 
you, I, like, I know it's a trick, yep. but my brain won't let me see it any other way. It. it feels like yep. your car is backing up. Yep. But instead, it's the yep. the room All moving the, the forward. The whole room moves forward. It makes you feel like you're going back. Yeah. Because on a great. track, you can't go backwards. No. You can't. Exactly. And um, basically, you're doing that. So you basically feel like you're going backwards. And then this big giant granite ball comes into view reveals itself yeah, yeah. and uh, and it's spinning towards you and essentially right before it comes to you yeah. you duck under it and yep. it's, a, it's the it's big a drop dip. of the ride yeah and uh, which I, I i'm not a drop guy yeah. i can't that's my that's my big problem is drops yeah but and, that is just the perfect amount yeah. where it's thrilling but it's yep. not like oh god oh god no it's like perfect yep it's great and uh, and so that and then you hear the the boulder crash behind you and everything like yeah. that. Then you turn around the corner and there's the boulder and everything. And Indiana yeah. Jones is just standing. The animatronic Indiana Jones standing right there, yeah. just like like kind of He'd pissed be right off too. at you. Yeah, like, he's just like, what does he say? It's like tourist. tourist. Why did it have to like, be tourist? And then and another one's like, uh, next time let me drive or something like yeah, that. Yeah, next time you wear blindfolds. Yeah, got it. It's um, basically like, yeah, berating you for, for once. Now, we should say, yeah. a lot of people have noticed it's not Harrison Ford's voice. No, this is a good story. Now, this there's some drama here. Yeah. There were re- stories for years that, like, yeah, Harrison Ford didn't want to do it. Yeah, he was not interested. Yeah. Didn't want to be in a Disneyland ride. You know, Harrison Ford, famously stubborn. Yeah. Uh, I have heard the rumor is that... He had a window of time to do. It was basically like, you want to record for the Indi- for the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland? Yeah. Well, send you know, and his agent was like, yeah, send him the script. And Disney submitted the script. And the rumor that I've heard is they submitted the wrong script. Uh, at the time they were working on Indiana Jones, they were also developing the Indiana Jones halftime show for oh, the Super yeah. Bowl. Disney bought the. Su- you know, a lot of people don't... You know, lately, it's all been Justin Timberlake and Lady Gaga and stuff yeah. like that. But for a long time, there were a lot of Super Bowl halftime shows that were, were like... Stunt shows. That like, were, yeah, were like promos for like Disney World and stuff. But anyway, in 95 or whenever, yeah. they did one for... It was going to promote Indiana Jones opening at Disneyland. And it was this... It was this terrible, yeah. badly written halftime show with stunt actors. And I heard they accidentally sent that script to Harrison Ford. And they were like, what the hell is this? No. And they rejected it. And, and basically, that was it. They yeah. couldn't get him to do it. It's like, oh, no, 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 that was the wrong script. And they were like, hey, care. he I'm doesn't done. have time anymore. Yeah. yeah. He had the right of re- first refusal or, or, or whatever. Maybe I'm using the wrong term. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was like, no, no, he passed. And it's like, oh. So that's why I've heard that he didn't do it. Uh, is that it was just they flubbed their opportunity. Yeah. That's what I heard. Man, because that, that, that sucks. That sucks. That really does they, suck. They should make, if they ever, because, you know, Indiana Jones, other than the projection effects we were talking about, oh, Fantastic yeah. starting. Oh. Uh, other than those effects, it's not updated that much. Yeah. That should be the big update they do, is yeah. they should get Harrison Ford's voice. Yep. And I remember there were rumors during when Crystal Skull came out that they were going to add Crystal Skull stuff to the ride. Thank God that oh, never God. happened. I know. Anyway, yeah. But then, uh, so then you exit. Like basically, it splits into there again two tracks to yeah. exit and unload and everything. Yeah. And the car saw a says like certain things like in case you drink too much from the fountain of youth, we have stroller provided. Well, yeah, we'll assist you with strollers. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, like that. You, and then you get out, and then yep. you walk out of the temple. Yeah. For the mile hike that yeah. you, you realize it, how far it, you it's went. So long to, to the exit is so long. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're out. I mean, yep. that's, and that's really the whole ride. That's it, yeah. Uh, One of the best rides in the park. It really is, like, front to back, a great experience. Yeah. You know, if I had to pick my favorite, you know, my, my favorite ride ever is, pro- is one of the classic oh, ones, yeah. probably Haunted Mansion or Pirates. But right behind that is this, which yeah. is a 1995 ride, yep. which is a testament to how great it is. That yep. it, was, it was built after all the Disneyland classics. Yeah. 30 years later, it's just as good, you know. It's still like it's iconic, and it doesn't matter that it's from a movie, you know. No. Some movie tie-in rides are cheap, yeah. or 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 it reeks of, you know. Honestly, like I'm not that impressed by a lot of the Pixar rides they've done. No, but not Indiana all. Jones, it feels it does it perfectly. It feels like adventure life. Yeah. It doesn't feel like oh movie tie-in. Yeah, it's adventure life. Exactly. And that's what makes it. That's what makes it good. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, I think I that's mostly it. Anything, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, classic. Yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm glad we were finally able to talk about it. I know. It. This is my favorite ride. I'm so glad I know. to talk about it. Yeah. Um, but uh, definitely iconic. Uh, again, the brainchild of Tony Baxter, who did such a great job, you know, again, yeah. of the second generation Imagineers. Yeah. Is, like, Tony Baxter is amazing. Yeah. Like, so thank God he got to do what he wanted to do with yep. this. And uh, again, there's a ride similar to it at Tokyo Disney Sea, yeah. but it's Mexican. And a little little side note is that at Disney World, there's yeah. a dinosaur ride that yeah. uses pretty much the it's the same ride, same lay, track, same track, same track layout, everything. It's just themed completely differently. Yeah, it's dinosaurs. Yeah, exactly. Although I've been hearing rumors they might gut that yep. to make a new Indiana Jones ride, which but, they should. And yeah, we'll see. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah. Much, that's pretty much it. Cool. There's an Indiana Jones store here. Yeah. Um, that sold like rubber snakes. They sell a yeah. lot of rubber snakes. Yeah. I bought one time. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about we were, that. We were doing a video. We were doing a commercial for the Aquabat yeah. Super Show where we needed a ton of fake snakes. And I was like, well, I'm going to be at Disneyland on Wednesday. I know they have them. Yeah. So I bought like 40 rubber snakes there. And the woman behind the counter was so mad. <laughs> She's like, you're buying this many rubber snakes. I'm not going to pick those up. And I was like, what? She's like, I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you don't can pick, you can pick those up. Don't have to she was like up. mad at me. I was like, I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm clear. <laughs> I cleared them out of rubber snakes. I know. <laughs> um, she just didn't want to pick them up. So I'm sorry. I hope the kid. I hope the kid is nice. Yeah. Anyway, best Indiana Jones movie. Go. Um, uh, the uh, Last Crusade. In agreement, Last Crusade. Yeah. Had, had Part three you know, is title the second. best. For sure. Uh, Ultimate one. is a classic. Yep. I it, To me, the, of the three, yeah. it goes in reverse for, of my favorite. That's how I, I feel. I think third one's the best one. Yeah. The second one's the second best one. And Raiders I, of the Lost Ark is the least best I one. Totally, it's still great. I totally, Raiders of the Lost Ark well, is amazing. Well, it's iconic. It's iconic, and I, and I love it. But, it, but I, I agree. Three, that's my least favorite. You know what it is? One, one is something. It was, you know, it's a great classic adventure yeah. serial. Two is a Disneyland ride. Yeah. It doesn't try to be the first one or the third one. No. But two, to me, might not have the best script, but it is an, a director's movie. Yeah. It is an event. It is a visually compelling, visually exciting adventure. It's a Disneyland ride. Yeah. That's it. And that's why I like it. The third movie is. Is has the best script. The third movie is the the, the story. It's Shakespeare. Yeah. It's the quest for the father. It's the quest for the Holy Grail. Yep. In finding his father, he finds the Holy Grail. It's perfect, yeah. Or will he lose one or the other? You know, it's Shakespeare. It's yeah. perfect. Um, in terms of writing. Yeah. But but Temple of Doom is just an adventure. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Um, and yeah, there are characters I maybe don't like in it. But that to me doesn't spoil the whole thing. Just like to me, Ewoks didn't wreck Return of the Jedi. Yeah. It's like yeah, okay, whatever with them. But I like the rest of you know. So anyway. Yeah. That's my favorite. I'm curious what the other people out there think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. I think and, and there is no fourth one. Yeah. I right, forget about the fourth one. All right. Anyway, thank you everybody. Yeah. Another creepy old crib. This is fun is in the bag. Now that this one's done, I have like postpartum depression. It's like, I was looking forward to this one. I know. I love this ride so much. Yep. We're going to have to talk about another good ride someday. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Maybe this is the last one. <laughs> All right, this is the last one. Screw it. The end. See ya.